What is up guys, my name is Chen and welcome to episode 16.5 of 3D Game Programming in Java. Okay, so here's my idea. What I want to do is sort of like a midweek episode after each episode, um, and where I sort of like show you guys like a tip or something, or basically do like a really short like two minute, three minute episode where I focus on one thing, um, because I get a lot of questions and some of them require video to answer, so yeah. Um, so this, so I treat this as sort of like a like an express episode. Like we won't be actually making any major changes to the code. Um, and what what I want to show you guys this time is how to actually export your project as a runnable file, so that you can run it on any computer without actually having to you know have your code and Eclipse open. Because um, at the moment all we can do is run it in here, and that's it. Alrighty, so let's get started. What you want to do is hit File, Export, and under here. Under Java, make sure you hit Runnable Jar File. Hit Next. Alrighty, now what you want to do is select your launch configuration, hit Browse, and name it whatever you want, like Mount Mindfront Alpha or whatever. Now, your launch configuration display is going to be the class that contains your main method, and Mindfront is the name of the project, right? So select the project that you want to export, basically. Um, hit Extract Required Libraries into Generated Jar, okay? So make sure that you have the first option selected, not the second two. Hit finish. Alrighty. Jar creation failed. Okay. If we look at this, it says that the result is out of sync. Now, I did this on purpose. People are probably going to be asking me this because this is quite a common occurrence. What you want to do is, if your resource is out of sync with the file system, what you need to do is hit cancel, right click, hit refresh, and then do the same process again. Okay. Runnable jar file, launch configuration, this one. Extract it into mindfront alpha dot jar. I'll just go ahead and delete this. Save. Extract required libraries into generated jar and hit finish. Now, don't worry about warnings. That happens all the time. That's because we've actually got warnings in our project. That's all right. Hit OK. Now, if you go over here, you should see your file right over here. Now, I've on my computer, it default uh, opens with WinRAR on my other monitor. Okay. Now, you don't want to open it with WinRAR because it's not going to run. What you want to do is right click if it opens with WinRAR by default for some reason. Open with and the, the Java platform. And as you can see, here it is open, right? So here we have it. Our wonderful game is now in its own little window without anything. Now, the good thing about this is that you can test this on any computer, which is why we also put uh, that FPS counter because we can't see the console here, obviously. So yeah, that's why that's why we put that counter there. And now what you can do is actually test on the different computers, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Alrighty, so now that you've exported that jar, you can test it on a bunch of different systems. So I've got it on my desktop here. It's running right here. And the FPS counter really helps with that. Um, then you also got, I got my Mac here, my, my MacBook Pro. Um, for some reason, it's actually running faster on this one. I do not know why. This computer's clearly better in every single way. I, I don't know, but apparently it's just better. Um, and then I got my old ThinkPad. It's not that old, but uh, as you can see, it's running about 30. It's still playable. Um, and yeah, so it's all, it's all cool. So that's like a really cool thing that you can do with exporting jars. Like you, you need to do it because basically, you know, you don't know what computer your client's going to be basically playing it on. So it's a good idea to test it both on Mac, on Linux. Um, I do actually have Linux on this computer, but I didn't couldn't be bothered testing it on that. And uh, and Windows. So yeah, that's how you have, that's how you export your your job. See you guys later. And uh, one, one more thing, if you like this Express sort of like this Express series where I sort of just basically spend five minutes max on on like a tip like this one, uh, hit the like button and tell me that you want more because uh, I'll make I'll probably start making one of these midweek. Every week, so see you guys later. Bye.